Hey, what's up Metro's back and today we're taking a look at what's likely the third and final tutorial Pokemon Reborn series is on hiatus while we wait for the next episode So I figured I would take some time to show you guys how to maximize your Pokemon Reborn play All right, this uh, this one specifically is going to deal with binding buttons and using a gamepad specifically to do that So the previous two were using a program called cheat engine. This one's not going to use that It's going to use joy to key all right, first things first, you're going to need the program, joytokey.net, as it is on the screen. Scroll down a bit, look for the official download page link, control F if you need to, and download it. Uh, it is freeware, okay, so please do not come here complaining about anything that's downloaded with it or installed. They're not viruses, it's just other freeware that latches on, this is how it works. So use your brain, read, and don't install anything you don't want to have on your computer, which is everything but joytokey properly. So anyway, once you get the program up, Open it up, uh, it is it is free, it's gonna try to prompt you to buy it, but you don't have to, just like win RAR and stuff. But anyway, uh, step two is then obviously having the gamepad. Uh, for the record, I am using a Xbox 360 gamepad. It does need to be hardwired, this one, okay? So it's gotta be a wired gamepad, cannot be wireless Xbox 360. PS3 or 4 uh, controller can be, since it is default wireless, they have the functionality built into the adapter that comes with it. Just plug it in, should work. Uh, if it works for other games or lights up or whatever, then you know it does work. Anyway, this is how you're going to do this. All right, once you got the program open, you're going to need to make a profile. All right, so obviously I've already made one, but we're going to make a brand new one. Just right click, make a new, call it whatever you want. Reborn test is what I'm calling it, and here is all the options. First caveat that you need to be aware of is the sensitivity is jacked. All right, it's like on crack or something. I don't know why you would ever want it this sensitive. But down here, you'll see threshold for input. Bottom half of the screen here, stick one and two are at 2%. <laughs> so literally, if you even sneeze on this, the stick, it's going to recognize it and try to move your character, which is not a good thing. So I set mine to about 50. Uh, I've gone between 40 and 70, depending, I guess, depending on your mood. You know what I mean? How you feel. It's up to you guys. You'll, you'll want to figure this out for yourself. I'm not going to sit here and debate whether 40, 70, whatever is good, but you'll definitely not want it on two. Okay. Long story short. And then you're going to need to go bind your keys. This works exactly like uh, binding keys in any game you've ever played. One real reason that I like to do this because, you know, I like to play Pokemon games with a Joey pad, but I also, the default keys for Reborn aren't very comfortable. Um, just not comfortable for me. So using a Joy pad is obviously much more comfortable. Now what you can do is, hopefully you're already aware of the controls in the game, but... Uh, so the left stick, you know, let's just look at that again. So the stick, the the, the left is the button correfi um, correlated to the joypad, okay? And then the function is what you're going to bind it to, all right? So you're going to right-click and just type in whatever you want the binding to be. So now you see I have the stick moving me left when I click it, but obviously it does not go backwards, so i got to bind them all. Very, very straightforward. Just going to do it for all of them just to show you guys. Bind that one. There you go. This one down. Now the right stick I'm not currently using for anything, but uh, since there's only one directional focus on the actual game itself, there's no real reason for it. Uh, and then the button, like one through these ones down here. Let's see what I have these at for these. Yeah, so. Uh, button one is space, which is going to be A, if I remember correctly. That's uh, space is the button that pretty much advances dialogue, interacts with objects. Uh, X is the button that I have to uh, back out of any screen. And then F5 is to go on your bike, which button three, if, if I remember, is X. Let's see. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Either way. Yeah, you, you guys figured it out. The reborn keys are pretty straightforward. There's not really much to deal with, so... I've also used, yeah, you see the, the second stick there I've used to emulate the first stick, just in case I don't want to use my left hand for a little bit. But that's it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. That's probably it for the tutorial. So uh, between power level on your Pokemon with infinite money and rare candies, speeding up the game to potentially five times faster than it's latent, and using a joystick combo, keypad, whatever, this game should be a very, very approachable and fun game for you guys to play. So that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. But otherwise, that's probably the last Reborn video we are making until episode 13 comes out. Hopefully it's soon.